everybody, it's VR Gamer Dude here, and man, here it is. I'm excited. So what we're going to do today is we are going to take a look at the uh, 2D desktop app for the new Oculus Store and Library. Uh, I'd love to be able to show you guys a little bit of Oculus Home. However, unfortunately, I have not found a way to capture that yet. So next best thing, I, I thought we'd take a look at uh, all of the features here of the 2D app. So just a little while ago, uh, everything uh, started to populate and just very excited to finally take a look at all of the launch lineup. Uh, now we knew about the 30 games that were announced. However, uh, after looking through this, I am seeing a bunch of cool stuff that I had not even heard about, like Oculus Dream Deck uh, transports us to impossible places and magical worlds. Uh, obviously, this is the featured. This is very similar to the Gear VR uh, on phone app, and in fact, it's almost identical. But there you go, Rift launch lineup, and we have it all. So already got my Lucky's Tale installed. A uh, really cool looking game here called Farlands. Um, went ahead and grabbed that one. It was free. Uh, Adrift. Uh, Elite Dangerous, I've already got. I'm just waiting for my Steam key to transition to my Oculus Home key. Um, obviously, some other titles that uh, anyone with a Gear VR will be uh, familiar with. Um, but uh, yeah, oh, good one. Love the Head Trip games, uh, Magic Man. Uh, is it head trip games? Yeah, head trip games. Yeah, <laughs> so Magic Man's head ga head games. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm so excited I can't even talk. Uh, but yeah, here it is. I mean, and you can see we have got a ton of great content uh, to launch with for those lucky few Kickstarter backers who will be receiving their riffs today. Congrats. Uh, you guys are going to have a lot to play with. Looks like Palmer also tweeted last night that uh, those of us who were early pre-orders, uh, hopefully me, uh, I was within the first five minutes, uh, should hopefully be seeing our shipments starting around Wednesday not going to lie, I was a little disappointed about that. You know, obviously everybody's on pins and needles about, am I going to get shipped Monday? Well, no, probably not. But that's all good because you know what? We're literally days, not weeks. So uh, got your uh, kind of going back to the store here. So kind of a, a layout here of all the games. Got Defense Grids, uh, Rooms, Esper 2, Albino Lullaby. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to name them all off. You guys can kind of see it here on the screen. And you've, you've already pretty much seen it. But uh, you will see, like I said, a lot of the Gear VR titles uh, starting to come over, which, you know, in my opinion, that's a good thing. Uh, these devs have worked really hard on getting those to be optimized for Gear VR. And, and if, they, if they can play on a Gear VR with its lower specs at even 60 frames a second, it, man, anything that they do to them for CV1 is just going to make them all that much better. Um, let's see here, kind of go over a few more things before we wrap this up. Like I said, this is just a kind of a quick first look. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, you can see here's all your, uh, story studio content. Uh, so a couple that I did not know were going to be in here, Invasion. I just checked that out on the Gear VR, uh, the other day using the, uh, Facebook dynamic video, uh, 360 streaming really impressed with that short uh, another one that i've heard great uh, reviews about is this the rose and i uh, now that one is purchasable at 4.99 um, all the other four here were completely free so um let's see here is there anything else on the front page we need to cover apps uh we we have oculus video kind of knew that was going to come and it looks like it does also have all of the updates that came from the gear vr port so you've got the watch uh, facebook 360 videos twitch vimeo play your own movie files uh gonna have a uh, you know different uh uh, uh, different environments you can watch them in, like the home theater, phone in a forest, surface of the moon. Uh, you know, you guys have probably all seen some of this stuff on my channel when I reviewed Oculus Video for the Gear VR. Now, 
other things in here um, you know you've got your library so like I said I do have a few things that I've preloaded here in the last 10 minutes since everything started all the bells and whistles started popping up so to speak um, but uh, yeah let's see what else can we cover here uh, got your friends list here uh, my friends list and my um, username and everything came right over from my gear VR account so that is definitely one unified account for all of the oculus ecosystem um, let's see here you've also got the ability to search for a title that's boring so I don't even know why we're looking at that um, back out of that here and then you go into your settings help and signing out of the app so under settings you got all your account information here um, privacy settings that you can go through the devices this is kind of interesting so this is literally where you're gonna see all your configured and connected devices uh, notice this was interesting add headset so if you do that it's gonna launch you right into this now that makes me wonder are we going to get the option at some point to add a second headset into the mix uh, I don't know. Oops. Oh, looks like we got to go through that. Skip it and visit the store. There we go. And we're back. So, uh, yeah. Can we add a second headset? Probably not. I don't think a single computer is going to be enough to power uh, two Oculus Rifts uh, at the same time but you never know you never know what the future is going to hold so if you click on it here you're going to get your serial number now you can see mine does still say oculus dk2 uh, that is fully confirmed that yes this will work with the oculus dk2 you do not have to have your cv1 so if you are a dk2 user and owner uh, you should be able to log into the store as early as uh well 10 a.m today since this video is not going out today I'm not gonna lie I'm making it a little early um, but uh, you can see right here it says DK2 is not supported on the oculus platform including games and apps in the oculus store and then you click there it'll take you to the website you can learn more basically what that breaks down to is, is you know if it doesn't work don't come bitching about it uh, you know you're gonna be able to use it but it's not guaranteed that all experiences and all games are gonna work for the DK2 uh, when connected to oculus home uh, now I can tell you the home screen is up in my DK2 right now like I said once again I really wish that I could show this to you guys uh, but uh, yeah unfortunately it's just not playing nice with any capture software that I've tried thus far and I didn't want to do anything through the lens because that just looks bad so all right um, let's see here uh, Rift support that'll take you to the support site um, if we go back you can see the camera it's picking up my DK2 tracking camera um, you can reset your default view and you have support for that as well uh, I do not have my Xbox controller powered on I am still using a 360 but it picks up on that no problem as you'll see here it should pop in and BAM eh, it looks like I need to change my batteries uh, but yeah um, let's see here there's your add your remote and run your full setup again so don't really know much more of what I can to show you guys or tell you about this but uh, if you have any questions you know definitely throw them down there in the comment section I'm always loving talking to you guys down there and helping you guys out and answering any questions but yeah so there you go the oculus store 2d at least uh, will uh, officially launch 10 a.m. on the 28th so all right I can't wait to see you guys in your riffs and uh, always you know I gotta say thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel you guys are helping me kill it uh, we've passed 1700 subscribers uh, well on our way to 2000 and uh, if you're not already a subscriber on the channel hit subscribe man you never know what I'm gonna do next and I'd love to take you along for the ride so but for me I got some apps to test man so uh, don't worry there will be videos I, I plan on recording a little Henry and a little lost and you know maybe a few of these other things uh, here in the next couple of days and throwing them out on the channel for all you guys so but uh, that's gonna do it for me it's VR gamer dude signing off y'all peace